Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today with a full stealth-based no-kills walkthrough for completing Mission 5, the Royal Conservatory. In this, we'll be hitting the relevant side quests as well as picking up all of the blueprints, bone charms, runes, and paintings that you can find while on this mission. We'll also be robbing the black market at the very end of this mission. This is going to be a little bit different than the Emily playthrough because Corvo's blink it works a little differently than Far Reach. Uh, we'll also be... Uh, going through this a little bit quicker than we did with Emily, and I'll give you a couple different tips on taking out various guards or skipping various guards uh, in this mission. So hopefully you'll enjoy this one as much as you did that one, but that's it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome to Mission 5, the Royal Conservatory. So from the docks where Megan drops you off, just head over here. Go up on this boat. If you want to do a little bit of looting in here, you can. There's really not much to grab. There are these angelfish scales, this, and a health solution. Nothing particularly exciting, but get yourself over here. And then what you want to do is head over towards the Black Market. The Black Market vendor in this mission has a uh, little side quest for you that you want to grab from him before you go any further. So we're going to go up here and take out some howlers that are setting a trap for any unsuspecting travelers that happen down this alleyway any do-gooders to deal with them with Corvo honestly I just come over here and grab this uh, chloroform bottle step out on here and throw it at them that takes them out this guy winds up walking either down here or over here just kinda have to figure out where he's gonna go and then you can just do a drop takedown on him looks like he's gonna head over here to the left if he does that, you can just drop off, take them out. Now, go ahead and loot their bodies. Just make sure you get everything off them you need. If you need any crossbow bolts, there are crossbow bolts right here. But after you're done with that, just head down here and chat up the black market vendor. Before you go into his shop, pop up in here and shoot this out if you want to rob the black market in this mission. To the day when I can reopen my gallery. Then head over here and chat him up. Huh? Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. No, think about it. See anything you like? All right, once you go ahead and chat him up, that gets you the Come quest. In, now, oh, go into his inventory. Over here to gear down down over 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 down and grab this safe combination certain you will be satisfied with your back purchase. out over here grab this wheel and then head around here out the shop and drop down into the water here get up to the edge turn around attach this and turn the wheel Once you have that, that's setting things up for you to rob the black market later. We're going to rob it at the end of this mission. But before we go anywhere, we're going to grab this rum. Head through here. Take note, there is a guard that patrols up here. You can see him standing right there. Need to avoid him at all costs. In order to do that, just come over here. Put on your blink and blink up to the top here. You may have to uh, jump or if you can just hit it just right, you'll get up there. Once you do get up here, wait for him to walk back in this corner. As soon as he crosses this edge, that's when it's safe to move. Right, head back around here. And snatch up a bit of money. Grab your bottle, take it with you. And then right up onto this balcony is where you're going to go. Once you get up here, if you want, you can head in this apartment here. There is a little bit of loot that you can pick up in here. Nothing substantial by any means. But head into the bathroom, crack this open. There's bathing salts, and then there's an Atomeyer solution in here if you need one. So, right there. Now from here, just crack the door open and head up a level. All the way up here. Around to the back. And this is going to put you out on yet another balcony. From here, I want you to get up on this railing, look up, and then get up on this balcony. Once you're up here, 
climb up here, and then get up on top of this rooftop. All right, once you're up here, get up on these pipes. Right around here to the left. And as you turn this corner, there is going to be a guard right here. He's going to get up and go have a conversation with a civilian. If you're impatient like I am in this mission right now, you can head through this door, down these stairs, while she's talking to the civilian. Head into this apartment. Up on this table, you're going to find a bunch of money. As well as a bone charm and some ammo. Up on this bar, there is a civilian in here. There's a bartender in here you have to look out for. But you can crack the cash register from here. And do a bit of looting. Right, he's back in here, so if you stay in the middle here, he generally doesn't see you. And then you can just dip out of here. Make sure that conversation isn't happening, or is currently happening, as you exit. Because the female guard winds up walking back through this door, so if they're done talking and you come up here, you can run face first into her. If you decided to come up here before she walked away. You can also wait for the conversation to end. She'll walk down through here down this level, down one more level, and go out onto a lower level balcony where you won't have to deal with her at all. So you can wait on her, or if you're impatient, you do it quick. You can get in and out of there before she sees you. But once you're done with all of that, head over here, and you're gonna get up on this balcony because there's an outsider shrine over here that you wanna grab. When you get in here, watch out. There are a ton of trip wires. So make sure you're checking for all of those. If you have dark vision with greater dark vision, you can always enable that, and that'll let you see all the trip wires in here. But uh, we haven't picked that up, so we're uh, kind of flying blind. So up here, up here, around here, over that dish, across the way here, set your bottle down, and then interact with the outsider shrine. Look at you. Making your way across this shuddering city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society. Forced to win some bloated beggar. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But... Just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that. Rainbows and moonbeams. Looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. Alright, go ahead and sneak again. Turn around, pick your bottle back up, and then just drop right down through this hole. Turn around, you can head outside. There's no real loot in here. There's some books if you want to pick them up. They don't really do anything for you. And then get up on this railing, and you're going to far reach, or sorry, you're going to blink right back across here, and you're going back to this rooftop. You look down... That female guard right there is the female guard that was on top of this roof. So when I told you she'd walk down to a lower level, that's the lower level she walks down to. All right, right back up over here. And then what I want you to do is equip a sleep dart. And you're going to jump down onto this balcony underneath the boards, swing around to the left ever so carefully. Just past this fire, there is a nest keeper. Hit him with a sleep dart. Chill out for a second. Then whip out your pistol. Now turn around here and use this handy dandy bottle to take out this nest. Once that nest is gone, come get your blood fly amber. And then head in here. You don't have to clean these up in here, but the Royal it just takes a few bullets and you do get some blood fly amber out of it, so... Hide. It's probably worth it, in my opinion. Take that one out. Come over here and take this one out. 
back up, come over here, take this one out, turn around, take this one out. Now, do a circle around this room and pick up your blood fly amber. There's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. Now, there's one more nest to take out. Careful if you use a combustion bolt on this one. You don't want to burn the nest keeper that you just killed or that you just knocked out with a uh, sleep dart. Take that out. Once that's out of the way, up here on the desk, grab a painting, grab some money. Down here, here's this nest keeper at its feet. There's going to be a corrupt bone charm. Make sure you grab that. And then head over here, and that safe code that we picked up at the black market vendor is the code to this safe. So, if we go into our lore and maps and look at this uh, safe code, it says the safe code is 976. That does change for me every time I'm in here. So, punch in 976 here. You can absolutely pick it up when you go to rob the black market. You don't have to buy it. It just makes it easier so you don't have to come back over here and open the safe later. You can just do it while you're on your way to the Royal Conservatory. In my opinion. It's just more straightforward. Alright, head in here, grab some bullets. Since you've been using bullets in here, grab some money. And before you leave, come over here, put on blink, and blink your way up here. And then hop over this railing, smash out that glass, grab an Atomeyer solution if you need it, grab some processed whale oil, grab a map off this desk, now head back downstairs. There's also food up there if you need it, obviously we don't. Now you're going to head out here onto this balcony. Either one of these balconies will do. What you're trying to do is get to this light post. From this light post, you're going to need to go down here, even with extended blink. I've never been able to get over here to this light post. You may be able to do a little running jump action if you have the, um, if you picked up redirect blink. I've never really tried it. In theory, it might work, but uh, for me, I just uh, blink down here, and then we kind of have to time some guard movements. Drop down here and hang out. So there is a, uh, there's this white guard here who just is standing against that wall. And then there's a black guard that walks across. So you just have to watch out for them. They're going to kind of switch positions. This one on the left here, he's going to walk behind this train car. And then the other one's going to come over here and sit on these stairs. So just pay attention and watch for that. You don't want them to see you as you're leaning out. But if you're quick enough, you can get past them and through these doors before they tra change positions, like we just did. Just watch out. If the other guard does come over here and stand by these stairs, what you're waiting for is for him to walk away. And when he walks away, there's a few moments in between him walking away and that other guard walking back over here to the right. Uh, and at that point, you can make the jump over top of that wall, get in these doors. Either one will work. You just have to... Um, you just got to time it right. So you just got to watch those guards' movements and uh, use your best judgment. All right, so we're going to head up these stairs. Get up in here. If you need uh, crossbow bolts, you can grab one downstairs, one right there. One out of that trap. Just make sure you disarm this trap, or that tripwire, rather, and then hit another tripwire at the, uh, the uh, top of the stairs. Watch out that you don't get blasted by this... Uh, trap right so get that don't get blasted in the face grab another one here so a bunch of regular crossbow bolts in here once you do get inside though head around to the back back through here there is an atomire solution in here if you need it we don't particularly need any right now back through here there is an ivory scrimshaw back in here though is going to be a continuation for our quest with the black market vendor. All right, bone charm, masterwork blueprint, two spring razors, and if you are not full on rewire tools, there's another rewire tool there. If you want the map of the Royal Conservatory early, you can always pick it up right here. We don't particularly need it. 
But now we are going to head up here and get inside and make our way over to the Royal Conservatory. Uh, I'm going to be using a couple uh, incendiary bolts for this one uh, to kill off some vines. You can absolutely do that or you can just uh, avoid the vines entirely by sneaking past them. Uh, we didn't show that you could blow them up with the incendiary bolts in the Emily walkthrough video. So I did want to change tactics just a little bit in this one and show you guys that you can do that. You don't get spotted. So once you pop up through this window, just switch over to your incendiary bolts or your combustion bolts, whatever you want to call them. Peek in this window and you can shoot out this vine. Takes that one out. Now put uh, Blink back on. As Corvo, it's a little more important to be able to take those out because given the distance on his blink or uh, greater blink, you can't quite do the same things you can with Emily. So you kind of have to hit a few more blinks in here. So that's why taking those out is kind of helpful in my opinion. And then from here, you're just going to get up on this chandelier. Right from here, sneak, turn around, look up in this window from the other side of the chandelier. And you can see this vine. We're just going to go ahead and take this out, too. Once again, you don't absolutely have to. But uh, we're doing it anyways. Now, just uh, blink your way up here. Around to the back. And then through this window. This window puts you into Brianna's lab. If we can ever get in here. Good for the love of God, can we get in the window? Thank you. Let's get up in here. Make sure you grab this raw whalebone off the desk. Head back here, grab these lenses. From the lenses, grab that uh, copper wire. You can head around here. There's a little more looting to be done. Some rye grass, some copper wire, some ore. Over here on this table, there is a processed whale oil. There is dried blood fly husk. If you head back here... There's more processed whale oil. Careful you don't wind up kicking one of these halfway across the room. That would be bad. Sleep darts if you need them. Angel fish scales if you need them. Raw whale bone. All kinds of good stuff in here. So, more Atomire solution. Loot around at your leisure. But, once you get done in there, head out here. I'm going to go through this door inside. Grab two more pieces of rye grass. One, two, grab a black bone charm, sneak again, head outside, close the door behind you for no particular reason, and then get through this window onto this ledge. With the ledge, you're going to go all the way across here and into this little vent. Once you get in the vent, around here, you're going to find another bone charm, you're going to find a pouch, some Atomire solution if you need it. We don't, but we'll get it anyways. And then some angelfish scales buried underneath these pieces of food. Grab all that, then head out here. And now look down. There's this guard down here. If you want, you can just blink behind her and take her out. She's going to eventually move here if you don't want to take her here. And you can just blink behind her as she moves away and take her out. Just kind of have to wait on it. If she's not moving for you and you get anxious, you can always get down there and grab her. I'm a little uncomfortable with that, but we'll see what happens here in a second. I don't know how long she's been standing here for, so. There she goes. Now she's walking away. Once she walks away, just pop down behind her and grab her if you want. A little easier to hit that with uh, Corvo than it is with Emily, just given the distance between, or the difference between how Blink and Far Reach actually work. But once she's out of the way, what you want to do is get back up here on this ledge. Just like that. And once you're up here, you're going to make your way over to this center owl. You can't quite blink down there, but you can get close enough. And close enough is good enough for government work. So we'll go down here, hit this, hang out, come over here. We'll hit this. Once she walks over, we're just going to go down here, install the lenses, and then we're going to hit this lever. I wonder what it does. 
What is this? What? No! You can see even though a witch probably is gonna walk back into this, she just drops when Brianna drops and we don't get spotted. What will I do now? Right. Set down your stun mine. That neutralizes Brianna. The reason you want to do that is because she is carrying two bone charms you want to get up off of her. So, uh, how's this all work with those witches in this area? I did that pretty quick. And you might be... What the shit sauce was that? Okay. Good lord have mercy on my soul. Alright, up here. Now, when you get up here... What's going to happen is there will be a witch here, a witch that sits on this railing, and then a witch that uh, patrols through this area. If you wait for this witch to walk back through here, the witch that sits on the railing generally ports back into this area, and it's safe to knock everybody unconscious. If she's sitting on the railing when you knock them unconscious, you can wind up having her fall off the railing and die. So if we check her stats, you can see nobody's dead. And if we go to playthrough, you can see nobody's dead. So if you go to global, there's a tons of dead. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so you're pretty much waiting for this chick to get off the balcony or off the railing and port over here when this one walks over. And when this one walks over, you can literally just blink down here, install your lenses, throw the switch, and nobody's the wiser. You don't have to worry about using powers or sleep darts or anything like that. Uh, you just manage the guard patrol patterns, and that all works out. Uh, you saw me do it pretty quickly there, and I'm sorry. It's just I knew that witch was walking over this way, and it was safe to go. That's why I didn't stop to explain it. But once she's been knocked out, you're safe to move around in here any way you want. You don't have to worry about getting spotted anymore because no one is conscious to see you. So now we're going to go grab some more collectibles in here and a little bit of loot. Up to this level, this is the level that Brianna's office is on. Once you get up in here, pop an Atomeyer solution because there's a free one back behind her desk. On her desk, you're going to find the archive key if you that need it. Journal might tell you me may or may not need it. You may or may not killed. want it. Up these stairs, another painting. Once you grab that painting, you're going to head up here. Break out this glass. Inside, you're going to find that broken whalebone sword over here. You're going to find a rune, a sleep dart, and another Atomire solution if you need it. The broken whalebone sword is your souvenir for Mission 5, so make sure you definitely pick that up. But then head back down through here. We're going to go back downstairs. Drop down. Out here. And then make sure you break out this second display case. 150 free coins is nothing to shake a stick at. And then head over here and grab a little bit of Tivian ore. Once you've got all that stuff, I want you to get up here and look down. And I want you to drop down here. <laughs> now you're on the other side from where we just were, right? From here, you're going to head back in this room, grab a dried blood fly husk. You're going to climb up on here, up here, crouch, up here, drop in. On your left, there are some bullets if you need them. Otherwise, head to the back, loot this guy's body for a security room key. That's very important. Crack this open, another health elixir. Just for good measure, I do like to install a rewire tool here. It's not necessary, but I like to do it anyways because there's another one downstairs we can pick up. Then, grab the Roseboro prototype. Once you have that, unlock the door with the key you looted off that body, head outside, make a left, and you're going to head right back in here, around here to the left, back on this uh, desk. There is something to loot here. Oh, there it is. There we go. Dried blood fly husk. Once you grab that, grab this egg. Sorry, the uh, dome being over top of it was throwing me since you can't break out the dome. Alright, once you have that stuff, head in here. There are more sleep darts here if you need to refill, if you've been using them in here. There's also a raw whalebone, an Atomire solution, and another dried blood fly husk. But once you have all that stuff, head out here, grab another piece of raw whalebone and a rune off this couch. Now, if you need some more uh, crossbow bolts, there are some here, here, and there's one stuck in this trunk right here you can grab all that once you do though head back inside here 
and we are just going to blink up to this next level next to this card catalog. So we'll blink up here, smash out these blinds. In here, crouch, grab ourselves some feathers and a bone charm. Now, if you want some more of Bloodfly Amber, there are some nests in here that you can kill. We're going to skip that and just head downstairs. So from here, back down and right out the way we came. Okay, from this point, just head right back here towards the elevator and drop down and drop down. And you want to go in this door. This is the exhibition planning room. Okay, in here, you're going to find a replacement rewire tool as well as a blueprint. So make sure you grab all of that. Now that you got that stuff, we're going to head out here and go down into the basement where the archives are. If you knocked Brianna out in that manner that we did, you need to get down in here and pick up. An audiograph. So down here through this hole. Push the bookcase out of the way. Around to the back. Smash this case. Grab a rune. Hit this audiograph machine. And then come around here. Get up on top of this bookcase. Drop down in, grab these feathers, grab this painting, head back up, drop down, crack the door, and just swing away as you come out here. The blood flies like to attack you. Make sure as you're wildly swinging you don't hit this and cause it to explode on you. Right, and then you're just going to head right back through here. If you need some stinging bolts or crossbow bolts, you'll find them on the table here. Otherwise, up over this railing, back here gets you three more pieces of raw whalebone. Turn around, up and out. And we're going to pop up out this window. Make a right and go down into this room. Once you're in this room, on this back cabinet, you find another rewire tool in case you missed the one upstairs. A final bone charm. And then over here, you're going to find the archive key. So that door we opened to get out after we hit the painting, you need the archive key to get in there. Uh, it, there's one in here. There's actually one in that room itself hanging on the wall. And then we picked one up off of Delilah's desk. So just a couple different places you can go to get the archive key. But then come out of here and uh, getting out of here as Corvo is a little different than Emily because, once again, his blink is uh, not quite the distance that her uh, far reach is. So if you get here and you stand up, and you do a little jump, you can see that it does change levels there as we jump. Just hit it as it changes levels and you can get up here. So just a little tip on how to get out of there. If you don't want to do too much climbing or deal with too much nonsense. But then as you exit, uh, you're going to have to make a few different blinks to get back to the front of this mission where the black market vendor is. So that you can turn in that quest, rob him, and then get out of here. It gets a little bit interesting, but if you're careful, you can make the blinks without too much trouble. So from here, we are going to blink right here. Just get the flat circle that looks like it's on like the rim of that light, and that'll get you there. Seems like you're going to fall, but you don't. And then just hit one over here. And then come up here. And you're going to hit one up here. And then you're going to try to hit one over here or up here. It just depends on what you got on your blink. If you have a greater blink like we do now, we can get over here. We pretty much picked up greater blink at the end of the last mission just for this mission because I knew we would need it. So that's why at the end of last mission you saw me really pick it up. It was me thinking ahead knowing that this mission would be a pain without it. All right, now that you're out, you can just head over here to the balcony, jump across, or blink across. And if you get up here, you can get up on these pipes. Try to get up on these pipes. Sneak. Be careful. The civilian is occasionally still up here, which you can see. There she is looking over the railing. And then that red guard if is downstairs. I don't know if she walks back upstairs or not, but it's not entirely outside the realm of possibility. So be careful. Head around the pipes, and you're pretty much going back almost exactly the way you came now at this point. 
We're gonna drop down here onto this wooden platform. Down here, up on this railing, and we're going to blink down to this balcony. Once we get down to the balcony, we're just gonna head right through here and go downstairs and go out through that apartment where that civilian was when we came in here. You can hit a few blinks to go down um, to this balcony as well. It's just a different path you can take by just going through the apartment. All right, so check on the position of that guard down there as you can see where he's standing. You're going to want to wait for him to walk back over here again. And it's kind of watch and wait. When he gets behind this railing, you know it's safe to move. So now he's behind the railing. We can drop down, drop down. Head over here. Don't forget if you didn't grab that money, you can grab it now. And then just hit a blink over here. Drop down. Get out here. And you're just going to drop down at this point. And what you want to do is get over to the other side where the black market vendor was. Right? We're just going to head behind these pipes. Just keep sneaking to be safe so that the guard that does stand over here at this railing eventually, when he walks back over there, he doesn't see you. Alright. And then head out of here. Into the black market, turning your quest. Welcome back. What's up, buddy? I see you found the prototype. I did. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not. Let's I not dwell. Details, details. Pain. First, your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. Now, grab your configurable grooving and this stuff, and then you can chat him up and do what a good a upgrading. to see you again. Ah, you want blueprints for better weapons. So you can see we picked up some other stuff. If you want to upgrade into the Ancient or Deep Howl Bolt, you are going to have to pick up Howling Bolt. I generally don't use it, so just FYI. Uh, we are going to take the dealer. No need to wrap it for you, I And then over suppose. here, we are going to pick up... Uh, eh, I think we're going to skip that for right now. We are going to pick up better zoom. Choice. We are going to increase the amount of bullets Certain and crossbow bolts we can carry. We'll upgrade our sword for no reason. Upgrade our grenades for re no reason. Come down here and upgrade our stun mines. This is going to be good for the next mission. That's why we wanted to grab these last. And we're going to get out of this here and go rob him. And keep a close watch. Because he's got a rune that we want. So around here, down, into the water. Remember, we already attached the wheel at the beginning of the mission. Open this gate, which means you can just swim right through here. Hit the chain. Climb up. Sneak. Yeah, it looks like he's not going to freak out on us this time. Why can't we hit these guys when we come in here? This is weird. Did we get spotted because of that? That would have been really gay. No. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the black market vendors. When we robbed the one in the last mission, when we tried to take them out, we couldn't get the uh, we didn't get the takedown or anything on them. Um, that's weird. Normally, I get the little notification. Uh, maybe because they're civilians, I'm not getting it, and I'm forgetting that we don't get it on them. I just usually just get behind them and activate it. You might want to give that a shot if you're having that problem. Sorry, I'm digressing, trying to figure out why that's causing me such distress. Alright, we're going to loot the cash register boss without him killing us, hopefully. Is there another coin here? Yep, there it is. Alright, cash register boss has been looted. Crack this, crack this. Inside, Atomire solution if you need it. Health solution if you need it. Did we take some damage? We did. Look at that. Another rewire tool. Otherwise, make sure you grab your rune. That's really what you're coming in here for. Refill on some of this stuff. Especially since you upgraded. You've got more room to carry it now. Stun mines. Grenades. There is a sticky grenade over here in this case. Make sure as you th swing your sword at it, you don't cause it to explode on you. If you want to grab it, we're not going that route. Uh, we're going to grab some pistol bullets, these feathers. In here, you find a little bit of money, sleep darts, a fan, ivory scrimshaw, more bullets if you need them, howling bolts. There should be grenades here. 
And then a bunch of stuff over here. Stun mines, bathing salts. All sorts of good stuff. Now at this point you can go out the front door if you want. I choose not to. I just like to go back down to the water just to be safe and swim to the uh, skiff. So it's pretty much done in here anyways. Just so that I don't wind up getting spotted by that stupid guard up top and it ruining everything at the end of the mission. Probably not going to happen, but uh, better be safe than sorry, right? Head over here and you can jump up inside. There is uh, stuff in here, too, if you want to grab some more loot before you leave. Copper wire, rewire tool. Uh, nothing of super significant value, but I uh, figured I'd just point it out since we're about to get on the skiff. And then hit up Megan. What up, Megan? So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Corvo, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that... I'm not proud of. You live long enough, that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Whatever happened in Dunwall was a long time ago, Megan. I wish it felt like that. Seems like yesterday. Are you ready to leave now? Oh yeah. Let's get out of here. Come on, girl. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos. And Delilah. Yup, yup. All right, so bodies detected, none, uh, hostiles killed, none, the total killed, none, so we're good on this. We got ghostly for the mission. We're still on track to get our clean hands and our shadow achievements and or trophies, depending on what platform you're playing on. Uh, nothing died in this mission. It seems the bug that uh, exists for this mission has been resolved with game update one. Uh, when we were doing our Emily playthrough, I was working off of saved games from before uh, the game update one hit. So uh, I think that's what was causing me to get the kills in that game when I made those comments in the video about the bugs still happening for me. Um, just FYI, that's uh, one of those things that I think has now been resolved. So you shouldn't get kills on this mission anymore. So hopefully that will help you get your ghostly and your uh, clean hands and shadow. But let's move on and check out the little cutscene that happens and leads us to our next video that'll be going up on the channel. Three years ago, Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago? Letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting. I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead, we got something else. Beyond the pale. Beyond the natural world. Instead, we got hit by someone like me. Alright, when you get back to the Dreadful Whale, you can see here is our raw whalebone sword that we picked up for our, our Mission 5 souvenir. But that wraps us up for Mission 5, the Royal Conservatory. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. But if you got anything out of the video, I sure would appreciate a like on the video or a sub on the channel. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.